do go into detail about in uh, online and in training and particularly with uh, reference to crises is this idea of the Q&A document and the Q&A document it means question and answer and it's something which every organization every business should always have and should always be developing it's a document which never stops because what this the way this document works is that take certain main topic areas from your business organization let's say um, finance let's say um, legal leg and legislation maybe health and safety maybe uh, current affairs and news in your about your particular company or about your particular industry sector um, maybe uh, stakeholders and shareholder relations that kind of thing um, the thing then is to think of questions you might be asked about those particular topic areas and to work out answers that will, that will work and explain clearly uh, the answer to those questions. The reason the, the document never stops is because there are always new things happening in your industry sector, to your organisation, uh, in your business and you keep developing new questions and new answers. The point being that the Q&A document then, should you ever come to a crisis, is that you've got this as an immediate source of uh, ways to answer difficult questions with information, with correct information. Um, other areas that I would go into uh, are some of these, um, which is research. If the media come to you and want to talk about something, you need to find out what it is they really want to talk about, why they want your opinion, maybe you want to find out if you're part of several people's um, opinions that they're taking, in other words get the bigger picture, you need to sort out a contract with the media, in other words talk, tell them the things you're not going to talk about, maybe if you're on television uh, you want to talk about ask them how much of you is going to be seen on screen. Um, you want to find out if you can what the first question is going to be. It may not end up being the first question, but at least it gives you something, something to focus on. Um, in crisis management and in general in interviews, uh, deal with facts, and particularly in a crisis, only deal with facts. If you haven't got any facts, say so, and say that you're getting the facts organised, you're getting the facts clear. Don't speculate, don't create those grey areas I talked about before that can lead you into areas you don't really want to be talking about in the slightest. Um, be careful also of jargon and numbers and statistics. Um, the reason is that if you put those in and your audience isn't an audience that is used to those uh, types of information, they're going to spend time working out what it was you said with that statistic or with that piece of jargon and they've lost the next two or three sentences which might be the really important thing you wanted to put across. For example, here's a piece of jargon. Um, does anyone know what a chimney fish is? No? Good, I'm glad you don't because that would have really sold me down the river, wouldn't it? But the, a chimney fish is some jargon you come across in the hospitality trade. Waiters and waitresses sometimes will refer to a client as a chimney fish and that means somebody who smokes like a chimney and drinks like a fish. So if you overheard a couple of waiters saying one to the other, um, I've just been stiffed by a chimney fish, uh, it means that that client, the one who smoked like a chimney and drank like a fish, didn't give them a tip. Um, but if that was something in, if that's the way, uh, the jargon can leave you wondering what they're talking about and if I'd been going on to say something important, uh, you've just lost uh, you've just lost what I was talking about. Statistics can be difficult as well. People aren't used to dealing with numbers. And don't presume the media are used to dealing with numbers either. Um, the BBC has found that it has got a lot of criticism because interviewers are not challenging statistics from people they're talking to. And that could be from, uh, from experts, it could be from statistics from um, politicians, statistics from celebrity uh, interview interviewees uh, and the media themselves are not very good with statistics so be very careful and here's how statistics can also work um, here's a couple of here's a headline uh, let's say from uh, the care home industry um, if you saw this headline 50 percent rise in annual deaths at care home XYZ that sounds really terrible with similar information, it can also sound very good. 50% drop in annual deaths at care home XYZ. The point is, is the context of the statistics that are important.